Well, how yeah. have your communications been with the government? Frustrating, I, I think very, very frustrating, and frustrating for some time. And, and you know, uh, one of the things that I said this week was was that um, we had been asking for a contingency plan back in December of 2017 with DFT and with Chris Grayling, and he, he, he said to me, "Look, don't worry about it. We'll get a deal. There's nothing to be concerned about." And here we are, six weeks away, you know, from from potentially a no deal, and we have no clarity as an industry in terms of. You know, what, what do we need to do to prepare? We had the permit issue this week where permits were allocated to hauliers, an oversubscription, and, and therefore a high proportion of international hauliers unable to go to, to Europe unless we get access. So we've got six weeks to try and nail that with the EU, uh, and that's, that's still not definite. And then the customs process as well. There is no clarity over the customs process. You know, business are trying to prepare, but what for? And, you know, in terms of the scale of this, both from a UK perspective and a European perspective, um, those queues are, are going to be inevitable in a, in a no-deal situation. And how big are these queues are we talking about? Well, so, so, so if, if you look at, if you, look at um, you know, the issues in and around Kent, uh, the French have said we're ready for a no-deal situation, but, you know, what they've left out in terms of the picture is saying that no vehicle will get onto a ferry in Dover unless it's got the appropriate documentation. Uh, we're expecting businesses to make sure that in six weeks' time they know exactly what they're filling out in terms of customs, transit documentation, uh, and that they're, they're ready to do that. The scale of this is just colossal, and business isn't ready to put those processes and procedures in place. So we're going to see queues, you know, a four-minute check will create a queue of, of 30, 40 miles. Um, miles, <laughs> really does hammer at home, actually.